Today on Adventure to Anywhere, we visit two very unique locations in the Central Florida area, Alafia River State Park and the Walt Disney Wilderness Preserve. We also visit this, um, crossroad. We go here! We go there! We go just about anywhere, oh yeah! In search of a ghost town appropriately named Fort Lonesome, our adventure took us to Hillsborough County, Florida. On our way to Fort Lonesome, we discovered Alafia River State Park. Once a phosphate mine, this park is now one part walking trail and one part skate park for bikes. A bike park. Whatever you want to call it, it has some great mountain bike trails. So now that is not something you see every day. Kind of a bike park kind of thing in the middle of a, of a state park. That's really cool. Now I have no idea why this red marking is on this tree, but I don't know. It just makes me feel like as I'm walking into this dense, jungly type area, that I'm just gonna have like a cannibal waiting for me around the corner. It's not, a trail it's a trail marker, I know. <laughs> and just right out here, we have the nice swampy waters. Hey, Jill, you wanna go for a swim? Sure, you first. Hop on in. Nope, you first. Now I will have to say, this is probably, we always joke about us not having the right type of shoes. And we had a discussion today about purchasing the correct shoes. And this is a prime example. This is probably one of the roughest hiking trails we've ever really gone through. Um, I know it probably doesn't look like it right now, but there's a lot of spots that are very, uh, I wouldn't say sketchy, but um, yeah. It is nice because this trail has all these little markers so that you don't go off your way. Um, you do have these little extra areas you can walk off on, but as you can see over here, eventually they just kind of just go into nothing and, you know, enter at your own risk kind of situation. Now, if you listen closely, you can hear the stream running, which is funny because I see no water, but I hear running water. I see it right there. Oh, do you see it? Okay. Uh, it's like through the little uh, bushes, through the trees. It's another marker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so once again, horrible hiking shoes. Well, we don't even have hiking shoes. We have tennis shoes on. And this is probably the first trail that we're like, okay, yeah, we, we need to invest in some hiking shoes because we don't want to slip and fall on our faces because that would suck. Somebody walked by a few seconds ago and mentioned that they thought it would be really cool to turn these into like haunted trails or something like that on Halloween. I agree wholeheartedly. And then we go out into where the Swamp Man lives. I am not gonna wish to see wildlife this time because every time we do that, we never see anything. So maybe if I wish and I don't think of it, Maybe some wildlife will pop up and we'll see a big old alligator or something like that. That would be cool. And these birds flying around. I don't know what kind they are, but they're just circling above us. I feel like they're just waiting for us to mess up so they can eat us. That's what I feel like is happening here. Of all the hiking trails that we've shown, um, I think this one may be the most 
maybe adventurous of all the ones we've shown so far. Um, like right here, I feel like this is where those little tiny dinosaurs from Jurassic Park are gonna run out and just nibble on me. And here's a nice little uh, alligator landing area. I'm just gonna, Jill, you're probably like snack size to one of those guys. So he's just gonna come, you might wanna move away from there. He's gonna just hop out and just, nah. Chomp, chomp. chomp. There are all the birds just waiting in the trees for circling, I guess. I don't know. All right. And up oh, the trail's this way. I thought we were going to go that way, which isn't as paved. Not paved. What would be the right word? Yep, great. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, marked, Clear. cleared. This is more clear for you to walk for sure. It's actually like, today it's, I don't know, about 60 degrees. Yeah, warmer, 70. Oh, is it 70? It's like 68, I think. Okay, 68, 70. Um, I wore long sleeves because I thought it was going to be colder. So I'm actually kind of warm. A little, a little warm here, but that's okay. Ooh, look at this feather. Something foul has happened here. Look at all these gutted oranges. Jill, I'm trying to make it unnecessarily spooky. Like, what would gut an orange from the inside out like that? I don't know. What would do that? I'm not sure. Terrifying. Ah. Hey, look, a bridge. Look at that, that's... It's inviting. It is, it is. It's inviting in a way, but completely not in another. I don't know. It's like, it's clear and nice, and but you probably get a leech the minute you, you went in there. We're debating as to whether or not there's actually leeches in Florida. I mean, there's cactuses in Florida. There's cows in Florida. We saw so many cows, it's like, <laughs> when I think Florida, I do not think cow. I, I just don't. So this opens up kind of into a more open area. So that's pretty cool. You kind of go through the, the tougher trail at first. And it's, you know, it's not difficult. But it's, uh, you know, a little more challenging to walk on. More hills and things like that. This is nice and flat. And I think this is kind of shared between the walkers and the bikers. Don't slip or you'll fall in the water. So here's a sign for all the different types of trails and stuff like that. I personally want to take the Frankenstairs, that sounds inviting. And then here we have drop-off practice where you practice dropping your kids off to school. It's great fun. Uh-oh. I told Jill to stay back because I didn't want her to get sand in her shoes like she did in one place, but um, definitely seeing a major seashell here, and she would love that. Now, this is something you rarely see out in the wild, is the very rare paint bucket. Unfortunately, we uh, we didn't plan for this ride. Uh, if we would have known this is a biking trail, we probably, well I would have, uh, taken the, the bike trail um, and checked some of that out. That's really cool. did the dumb thing today of not eating before we came here because I was having some of my regular stomach issues that I have, which, you know, it's just what I deal with. Um, but sometimes before we go on an adventure, sometimes I just don't eat. Um, it's just easier that way. And that makes sometimes walking around a little more challenging because then I'm starving. And there is a wild... Uh, uh, 
Why can't I think of the name of it? Armadillo. There we go. Wild armadillo right here. He's coming right for us. Now he's frozen in fear. And now he ran out. And check this guy out. I, he's digging down. He's, I don't know if he's trying to make himself a little home or if he's hiding his food that he found or what he's up to. And now he's running off. And here is another one right here. He just does not care that we are here. He is doing his business, digging his hole, living his life. Yet another rarity in the jungles, forests, the parks, the also rare storage container. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they are building here. They've got, you know, it looks like an old bridge that's broken down over there and yeah, I don't know what they're doing. And hey, look, there's shoes in the trees. That's, uh, <laughs> that, that's back, back in Missouri. Oops, there it is. Uh, back in Missouri, that was something you'd see often. You'd see them on the telephone wires. Um, yeah, but now they're up here in the trees. Jill is trying to make friends with the armadillo. She is amazed by the armadillo. The armadillo is amazed by all of this man-made equipment. And he's probably wondering what the heck in the world it's doing here. I guess the only armadillos we're used to seeing are the ones that were squished <laughs> on the side of the road. So sad. That is sad. Um, but yeah, we even had those back in Missouri. Yeah. Um, and like I said, we've never seen them in the wild. So it's pretty mm -hmm. cool seeing them just kind of running around doing their thing. Why Why do I just feel like, why am I just waiting for like a T-Rex to just come trampling across that field and just come after us? Is it just me? It's just you. You really love T-Rexes. I'm like waiting for, I don't know, saw to come out or something. Saw? I don't know, you know. I don't watch scary movies. So like a know. saw? <laughs> <laughs> just a random saw with its own <laughs> mind. <laughs> just hopping around the grass. And these signs are very handy because they kind of tell you, you know, which ones are the walking trails, which ones are the biking trails and things like that. That's, that's very helpful. There's the birds. Just, <laughs> I just want to know what they're waiting for. They're waiting for something. They're circling for some reason. Have you ever seen the movie The Birds? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it was waiting for us. Turtle Two Tracks sounds like the name of like a gangster. I'm Turtle Two Tracks, eh? This is my town. Lost Meadow. Hey, Jill. Yes. If if we find Lost Meadow, then would it be lost anymore? Oh, jeez. We headed back out in search of Fort Lonesome, and when we arrived to our location, well. The only thing we found out here was the Fort Lonesome grocery store. I was expecting rundown buildings we could possibly explore. Old abandoned shops and stores. Instead, all we found was a crossroad. That's it. That's Fort Lonesome. Now I know where it gets its name. The next day, and with the sun shining bright, we headed back a little closer to home to visit the Walt Disney Wilderness Preserve. Hey, Jill. Hey, what? Is, is this how we rock hound? Ooh, maybe. Or have we rock hounded? Are we, we should, doing it right? We should ask our friends the adventure closet if this is how you rock hound. I feel like this is too easy. Here they're growing some wild coffee as opposed to the tame variety of coffee, which I guess would be decaf. decaf. <laughs> now, we've just started, and, you know, already you just see this wide open just beautiful area as you can see too they've kind of uh you know they did the thing where they kind of burned down some of the the trees and the grass and stuff so that they grow back stronger um so it'd be interesting to see this when everything's all grown back up so today's video is going to be sort of challenging because my stomach issues were on my mind and 
totally forgot my gimbal. So if this video is a little more bouncy than normal, well, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> So I really love these little stations that they have in these different kind of parks where if you want to, you can just sit on the bench and just take in the view. So I believe I may have finally found my place to come and go for a walk because a lot of the places we've been going, you know, they charge something and they're a little further out. This is only about a half an hour from where we live and, um, I like that it's free, you know, that you can just come up here and come whenever you want. It's very quiet, very serene, perfect for me to uh, get away and do my thinking for my authoring. <laughs> Check out the moon out there being all moony during the day. Go to bed, Moon. It's late. It's early. It's late for you. No. Leave it to Disney to be very precise about their things. I love this. I mean, a lot of the other parks have, um, you know, they have signs that tell you where to go. These are very clear. You know, hey, this trail here is closed. And over here, we have the Wilderness Trail. You know, I mean, pretty clear. Over here, it's the Harden Trail. It's clear as all get out. I love it. So we selected first to go the Harden Trail. And that one is, how long is it? Uh, 0.5 miles. It's a short loop. So this one's just the short loop. So we're going to take this one around. Blah, blah. We're going to take this one around first uh, and see what it's got to offer. And then we'll take the longer one. So I guess these are all the animals we can possibly see here. We got the marsh rabbit. We've got... Sherman's fox squirrel, feral hogs, raccoons, the sandhill crane, the white-tailed deer, the bobcat, the river otter, the nine-banded armadillo. We've been seeing a lot of armadillos lately. The great blue heron, the opossums, and the cotton-tail rabbits. But wait, there's more. We can see coyotes, wild turkeys, gray squirrels, striped skunk, uh-oh, and chills. Hi. Check out this beautiful landscape, just as far as the eye can see. So we're kind of nearing the end of the Hardin Trail, um, which was the shorter trail. Um, and uh, now we're gonna try the longer trail, which is... Uh, yellow Trail, six miles. It's the Yellow Trail, <laughs> but I, I don't know, what is it called? It's the Yellow Trail. <laughs> so now we're gonna check out what the Wilderness Trail has to offer, and I'm gonna get out of the shot with my shadow. This angle looks better anyway. We were just talking about how, you know, we wish more people would come to places like this because this is just absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. Um, and you know, that's what I like to think a lot of our videos are more about is um, maybe showing people, I mean, of course, you know, people that come here to vacation, they may want somewhere to like go run, walk, whatever. Um, but also they're probably a little more for people maybe if you're moving to the area. Um, this would be helpful. So, you know, the kind of some of these places that are in this area. And what we're walking on here, it almost feels like, like fur. It's like something out of a movie. Where like people are walking on the land, like this land feels funny. And all of a sudden a big creature just busts out. <laughs> That's always cool. We have located number five. Five. Why do I feel like some of the shots that I'm taking are coming out even smoother than when I have the gimbal. I think it's because I'm being very slow and precise about how I'm taking them. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Joe. Yeah. I want you to go run in there and then come bust down and say, I'm the witch that lives in these here parts. No. So according to this sign, so according to this sign, the exit is 
through there. No, 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 there's a path over there. Still confusing. Exit, pointing there, but it's actually over there. We never run into wildlife on these adventures, but this time we're gonna run into the skunk. The, of all the animals we run into, we were gonna run into the skunk and he's gonna spray us. <laughs> Probably. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> So check out this thing right here. So what I believe this is, is like a lookout spot of some sort. But what I feel like it is, is this one of those places where you stick like your head and on the other side is a painting, but it's for the animals and they make fun of the humans that, that stick their heads through it. That's it. Jill, Jill, was that a dinosaur? No. But, but he looked like a little <laughs> tiny dinosaur. Well, maybe a tiny dinosaur, but mm, I'm a bird. I mean, are you dinosaur. a are you a dinologist, dinosaurologist? No, I don't think you are. <laughs> so how do you know? It was a dinosaur, I promise. I read. Hmm. <laughs> so now we are heading towards Kurt Russell Lake. That's not it. What is it? It's just Russell Lake. Russell Brand Lake? Yeah, that's it. It's Russell Lake. Thank you. Oh my God, this is just absolutely beautiful. Wow. It's always a good time when there's venomous snakes in the area. Once again, I just can't get over just the vast openness and beauty of this area. It's absolutely incredible. I don't know why, but that, that tree was just so cool to me. I just had to get it in a shot. I don't, I don't know what it was about it. It just kind of was like that lone tree just kind of hanging out there by itself. I don't know. There's just something about it. it was really beautiful. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, you belong. Anywhere you say, anywhere you say, You know what this part right here makes me feel like saying? Uh, no, what? I'm a jungle man, I'm a jungle man. Find an adventure wherever I can, I'm a jungle man. So one of the things that we wanted to show um, that this location offers is they have these kind of like land buggy type things that you know they have these really big tires and they haul like a bunch of people and they drive them out into these areas and stuff um we got here kind of late so i don't know if they're running any of them today but i just think that's a really cool option of something they do we'll link the uh uh the website to this place so you can kind of learn more about it if you want to come here but that's about gonna do it for us today. Thanks so much for watching. This is Adventure to Anywhere. And everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. are still walking and this is all we see.
We're, we're never going home. We live here now. <laughs>